I, I talk about it and I'm not fully educated, but I do have an opinion and I keep it to myself. Not voting isn't crazy in my opinion at all because if I don't feel like I have the exact education for what I'm voting for, how is it right for me to vote for something I'm not completely educated on? I could educate myself, but then again, why am I doing that if I genuinely really don't care? I'm just honest. I don't care to vote if I don't know exactly what's going on. I don't think that's wrong. And I completely stand on that and I stand by it because first of all, I just turned 18. I never voted before. We all know this, you can't vote until you're 18. I've never voted. If I don't wanna vote, I don't have to vote. And if I don't wanna be in politics, I don't have to be in politics. Yo, so we back in here for another edition of Your Mother, and I meant to do a video about this when it came out. That was Travis Barker's daughter, and goddamn, the time goes by. She's 18 years old, meaning she was born in 2006, and she says she don't want to vote because she hasn't done enough research, nor does she care to do the research, which the latter sounds like she's a bubblehead, but considering she's 18, I'll give her that. Yeah, when I was 18, voting wasn't high on the docket, even though I did it, I didn't know why. I didn't know half the people that was on the damn ballot other than George Bush and who else was running? George, Senator Kerry and I think Al Gore. That could have been two thousand. I don't know. It was one of them niggas. But um, yeah, like I'm, I'm not gonna hold that against her. Then we got this bitch, and I'm gonna play it to give a com commentary to what she's saying. I'm gonna say something, and it might be an unpopular opinion, but you are not a better person for not voting. You are not a morally superior person for not voting. You are not an ethically righteous person for not voting. You are, in fact, just showing your privilege that the policies and the laws that are being enacted under a certain candidate just don't matter so much in your life that you can just choose not to vote. That is such a a privilege to be able to vote in the first place. I have no problem with people critiquing Kamala Harris's um, experience as being a judge or her her policy stances and things like that. What I don't understand is why y'all are trying to deter people from voting for her. My thing is, as much as y'all are trying to tell us who Kamala Harris is, it's like y'all forgot who Donald Trump is. At the end of the day, in this scenario, there is a lesser evil. I think y'all do not understand. There is only one. So then you got to compare and contrast, right? You got the Demir, well-spoken, bubblehead white girl. They kept it 100. She don't know shit, so she not voting. Then you got this loud mouth that they can't understand why people ain't voting. There's a lot of things you can't understand, and there's a lot of things I can't understand. Why you wearing a frontal lace with a fake part in it, but then that's contrary to what the hell the video's about so i digress what i will say is not voting i don't think people are not voting or because they have a privilege or not voting because like they're ethically better or whatever the fuck that means <laughs> she mean morally superior um i don't think that's not i don't think that's why people are not voting people such as myself i'm not voting because i don't have good choices of candidates that's one two I don't believe in the lesser of two evils. I don't like evil. I'm not fucking remedial. I think the whole system need to be burned and overhauled, but then that's another video for another time. Honestly speaking, if I do vote, it's going to be for Cornell West, but there's a lot of people out there, like this lady I work with that said, hey, oh, voting for Cornell West is throwing your vote away. To which I have to tell you to anybody that says not voting or voting for a third party is like giving your vote to Donald Trump. Let me just explain something, you idiots. If I don't vote, that doesn't give my vote to Donald Trump. If he wins, it's because the bitch didn't get enough votes. I would have thought that was obvious. Same thing with if I vote for Cornell West. Even if the vote doesn't go to Kamala, she doesn't lose because I voted for Cornell West. She loses because she didn't get enough votes. Simple and plain. Now, whether my vote could have went and contributed to her winning is another thing. But if it's a million people like me that vote for Cornell West or don't vote, that's a million votes she just didn't get for whatever reason. Her campaigning was slouched, to say the least. I hate when people say that oh your ancestors died to, for the right to vote no they died because it was some morons out there trying to kill them because they could vote let's get it right they didn't die to, for the right to vote they, i don't think in their mind they thought they was dying 
for a righteous cause. None of was getting murdered because it was a jackass out there that didn't want to see them contribute to the political arena. And yeah, if I don't vote, it doesn't mean that it's a vote for Donald Trump. It's a vote that she didn't get because she didn't convince me. And I'm not convinced by a person's melanin or lack thereof for them being the qualified candidate. I don't hire people. I don't vote for people solely off of based off of how they look. I, I hire people and vote for people based off the criteria that I see that they can produce. She's been with an administration that hasn't produced. God knows what she's going to do on her own. We've seen how she's talked under this administration. I highly doubt she's going to get more articulate under her own administration. So I'm not chancing it. And as far as Donald Trump, well, he's a jackass. I'm not voting for him either. So vote for the couch. <laughs> And I don't think that's a privilege. And even if it is a privilege, it's a fucking right because we live in America. Our ancestors actually fought. And I don't mean the ones that died in the commission of going to vote with the people during the civil rights generation. They actually fought. So this whole notion that somebody is supposed to be support uh, morally superior or ethically superior. No, they just. There's not a qualified person. Would you take your car to somebody to fix if they didn't have the criteria to be a good mechanic? I'm going to take my shit to a nigga in a parking lot? No, I'm going to take my car to a person with a shop that's been there for like X amount of years. Has a reputation of doing good work. I'm like taking my car to a crackhead in the parking lot at a AutoZone. It ain't happening. It's the same thing with candidates running for presidency or any other political office. You got to have a good track record. I'm voting just because like, I voted for Obama because he was black because I was 25. What are you going to do? Politics didn't really mean that, shit, that much shit to me anyways. They probably did. They probably was eye gouging me in taxes and I didn't realize it. But yeah, I'm older now. So when you know more, you don't know better, you do better. So fuck, fuck Kamala. And this is a bed winch anyways. In any event, if y'all like this video, you know what to do and I'm out. No.